Hello YouTube, this is Frugal, and I thought I would start doing some videos, very short ones, answering some common questions. Now this one surprised me a lot. I get a lot of people asking me, how do I get the PMDG operation center? What do I need to do? Well, first of all, you need to buy a PMDG aircraft, okay? Assuming you've bought it, either from Aerosoft or from PMDG, and installed the latest updates. Now, if you're a PMDG customer, to get the updates, log on to your PMDG account, download the updates for the aircraft you have, install them, and you're all good to go. If you're an Aerosoft customer, I don't actually know the process. I think you need to reach out to Aerosoft and say, where's the update? And they'll send it to you. But anyway, once you have installed the latest updates, there's two ways of getting to the operation center. You can press the Windows key, if you're in Windows 7, don't know how you do that in Windows 8, and type in operations. And there it is, at the top of the list, PMDG Operations Center. Alternately, it is installed in your program files. So click on uh, the Windows button there, click on All Programs, scroll on down to PMDG Simulations, and in there you'll see the aircraft you have installed. So on this computer I just have the NGX installed on both FSX and Prepared, and there is the Operations Center. Click that, click on PMDG Operations Center, and up it will run. Now the Operations Center does quite a lot of stuff. This is why it's kind of important. It handles updates, not only for the Operations Center itself, but it will also handle, I think, updates for the aircraft. So you can see right now it was doing a, a big update thing. Also, it gives you access to options for the aircraft as well as documentation. So, if I drop this down and say PMDG 737 for P3D, click on that. Look, there is a documentation section right there. If I click on that, this is the next question I get quite a lot. Where are all these manuals? Where are all these 3,000 pages of documentation? They're right there in the operation center. Choose the aircraft, choose documentation, and there are all the PDFs. So if you want to look at the quick reference handbook, for example, for the checklists, Another question I get a lot, where are the checklists? They're in the QRH. So if you click on that little PDF there, it will fire it up and there you go. This is the QRH, this is a quick reference handbook that is used by pilots to overcome non-normal situations, but also includes standard checklists. So if we scroll down here, it's a little intimidating, it's a little confusing if you've never seen a Boeing document, which this actually is, but all the documentation, all the manuals and everything are here. So you can see loss of thrust on both engines, that would be section 7.6. The way to navigate around this, by the way, would be just be to search. You can just search on these numbers, so 10.1, and then it will find that in the PDF. And you might get a few um, non-expected results in that search, but by and large, you'll find what you need. Let me keep on scrolling down here, because I want to show you guys, there we go. Here are the standard checklists. Now, the standard checklists are different to the flows. The flows are in the FCOMs, um, but the actual checklists are right here. So pre-flight checklist, oxygen, tested 100%, navigation, transfer, and display switches, normal, auto, and so on, and so on. Print these out, bind them, stick them to your yoke or your joystick, and you have all the checklists for the NGX to hand, and life is good. The next thing... I get, how do I update liveries? How do I change liveries? Again, operation center, choose the aircraft. You have two ways of doing this. The livery manager here is for if you have downloaded liveries from the interwebs. So you download them, go in here, click on click to add, find the livery you've downloaded and add it to the aircraft. A better way though is the livery downloader. Now this is PMDG's own managed library of liveries. So once you've installed the latest updates, for example, for the NGX, you actually get two models of aircraft. You get the 737 and you get the Poseidon, which is the military aircraft based on the 737. So you can click on, let's say the Poseidon here, and I can see there are two liveries available, the ARC 320 and the Mad Foxes 436. If I wanna download and install that livery, I just click on download. And away it goes. It is as simple as that. Now bear in mind as well, this is actually very, very valuable and important to find your way around because liveries in a PMDG aircraft also bring in options. So if you download a livery, for example, for an American Airlines 737, then the cockpit options you're gonna see match what is actually in place in an American Airlines 737. If you don't like those options, you can change them here. Aircraft specific sections. All you need to do is drop this down, choose the aircraft, choose the livery, so there's my frugal sim one, and I can go down here and I can change all sorts of stuff. So I can turn the low speed, low airspeed alerts on or off, ground speed displays on or off. I can change which specific instruments appear in the cockpit for me, how they work, where the warnings are, what warnings there are, and so on and so on. It is all done here in the operations center. There is even a performance settings section where you can tweak the, uh, 
aircraft to match your machine and get better performance. Not very many options in here, but it's useful all the same. I hope that answers the ongoing question, how do I get at the operations center and what does it do? As always, my name is Frugal. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.